It's only January, however. These guys right here, they've been through some things, okay, on their way over here, but this might be the most comfortable shoe of 2021. Oh. Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today, we got a detailed look at these potential bad boys right here. Or, no, I'll just say it right now, bad boys. This, my friends, is the Peak Tai Chi 3.0. Yes, third model. Crazy. Feels like just yesterday we did the 1.0 and then the 2.0 and now we have the 3.0 and these ones feel amazing. So just like the first two iterations, these guys feature Peak's Tai Chi cushioning system and that is the entire midsole. And this stuff right here, the first one that kind of looked like a Yeezy, those ones were not only awesome to run in, but they were like marshmallows, but they had a bounce back effect, right? The second ones were hideous, both versions. They were just ugly, but they were very, very cushioned as well. They were just a lot thicker. This guy right here kind of like is a little bit in the middle so it's got that mush cushion but a ton of bounce back and then they're not as high off the ground as the 2.0s you can actually feel this here feel this in hand like squeeze that missile i already did oh well how's it feel <laughs> why don't you just say so you got me sounding like a creeper yeah baby it's very squishy it's awesome man these things are mad comfortable so the traction itself looks awesome looks almost like adidas's stretch web stuff that they put on the ultra boost and everything so there's little cutouts of triangles and that's to allow that rubber to stretch the rest of everything is just a triangle pattern the rubber compound feels good so hopefully it performs well on all conditions and all roads and all surfaces i'm not going to test it though because I don't run. Boo, you also, inside there is their torsional system. So you can see it right there at the midfoot, but it goes out like an X. So there's two bars up front, two bars in the back, and that acts as a spring plate as well as a torsional plate. So very similar to Adidas's torsion system, just for those of you guys that need a reference. And then the upper on these guys is really interesting because it looks like ripstop which I am very much sick of, but it's not ripstop. It's actually just mesh. So I kind of like this, like it's functional, it's lightweight, it's breathable. It's got a little bit of skin fuse on it in certain areas, like the high wear areas, the eye stay, all that stuff. They even threw in that little circle right there that was like the 2.0. And the branding on these guys is super minimal. You almost don't see it. I actually was talking to our Discord about these the other night and everything. We have a, a monthly live chat with all of the people that feel like joining. There was about 50 people in the chat. I think that was like our most ever so far. And I was showing them up and coming reviews that we have scheduled this was one of them somebody had asked me what i thought about this little guy right there a little rubber piece and i was just like man i just love it dude it just looks so cool i don't it's not functional whatsoever i just like it on there though it does say their uh p propulsion system so that's what they're calling the whole setup with the little spring plate and all of that the heel counter is interesting because for one there is one there it's like beefy and stuff the last ones were like really clear plastic and they were on at least the 1.0s were kind of like on the midsole itself this guy sits right on top of that and i just like that it's chrome it reminds me of the dot uh, spinners those things were awesome every time you stepped it was, it was dope now the collar area is interesting because while it's still very thin and very fuse like it's not super fuse or anything like that it's actually a, like a felt material so it's nice on foot it doesn't feel like it's going to cut or jab anywhere and then they actually were able to put in some sculpted padding in there which i was pretty surprised about because there's so little space to do it but they were able to do that and it looks great i love the colorway too it's just very simple white silver a little bit of red what else you need now as far as their fit goes if you're going to run in these i would go true to size this is my regular size and to me they fit like a perfect running shoe which i would typically go up half a size which i found out the hard way foot cramping inside your shoes when you start to get that swell when you're running that sucks so these guys fit the way that i like my shoes to fit when i'm running which is a little bit spacious opposite of when i play basketball which is really weird for me even casually i like my shoes to fit snug so if you were actually going to get these casually i would go down half a size for a one-to-one -one fit if you're a wide footer just go true to size and you should be good to go so can you repeat please what you just said to me no please no <laughs> she just said that she has nothing nice to say about this shoe and in my head as she was coming over here and saying that i was like man i wish that they sent you a pair oh so that you could run in these because I think that you would like them. Maybe that's part of it is I know that I'm not going to get to try these out. So all I can go off of is pure aesthetics. Oh, you're not feeling these? No. And really? everything that you're like, whoa, that's so cool. You don't like whoa, that? Whoa, that's so cool. I'm like, ah. Okay, Jimmy. <laughs>
I'm over chrome. I don't feel like you can make chrome look cool. Chris Webber did. In the year 2021. It's very dated. Not if it's used sparingly. <laughs> <laughs> so I would like to hop on their website, which I probably will while editing this out and just see what are your other colorways. That's actually a, a good question because I don't know. I didn't even look. I do think that these are dope though. Like, but also they, they do look a little bit like a dad shoe. You know, like if a grandpa was going to run in something or not run, but like wear something comfortable. Like I feel like this would be it, which I'm okay with. I just, I feel like it needs to be toned down a little bit. They're all and white. Then, what do you mean? Again, this thing. Oh, there's just one little piece of chrome. This it's not that bad. This giant chrome piece. It is not that bad. It's so little. <laughs> no, man, it looks like a nice little toaster back there. I love it. <laughs> Remember that movie, The Little Toaster? Oh, yeah. You, what was that movie? What, what was the I'm name? pretty sure. Was it called The Little Toaster? I think so. But oh. no, you saying that WandaVision just started up. Oh, man, and that's a weird show. And inside WandaVision, they have commercials, and they had one for a toaster. Do you know what that was about? The toaster was from Stark Industries? Yes. Yeah, so that was, I don't know if you noticed, but the sound was almost like a repulsor blast mm. that the toaster made while it was toasting the toast. I did not notice that. And I believe that was a reference to her blood blaming Tony initially for the stuff that went down in Sokovia. Oh. Yeah. And then the second commercial was from Hydra. Yes. For and the watch. Yes. It was Von Strucker. And he's the guy that gave her and her brother powers. Oh. Yeah. So I think that we're seeing her memories, but in commercial form, which has absolutely nothing to do with this video. <laughs> But you're welcome. Yes, I'm a super nerd. Um, and everybody, not everybody, because obviously I'm watching it and I am not a super nerd, but just these people who are so hardcore into it, who can find every single little Easter egg while I, I'm just a- I cannot do that. General audience Yeah, I, I can't do that, but there are stuff, there are things in it that, you know, like I'm pretty hyped about, like, I don't know if I should say this. Or I guess I can because we're not like a comic book channel, but... Spoiler alert! <laughs> in, in the comics, there's a House of M series and she's a big part of that. She's the one that creates that House of M and she says to begin it, no more mutants. And so half the mutant population just dies off. They don't literally die, but they lose their power. So they're no, no longer mutants. I think the opposite is going to happen in the MCU, the movie verse, where she's going to create the mutants. Mm. And I think that they're bringing in some of the Fox mutants because the Quicksilver of that universe is listed by but not with a name. Oh. Just his actual name is there, the actor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so excited because he's my favorite one of the two versions. Well, he's way, he's the best Quicksilver out of the two. Like, he's there's, so great. Yeah, there's no comparison. He could also be Wiccan in Speed, or one of the two, which are their kids. Okay. Which I still don't understand, even though I've read the books, how she procreates with an android, but you know. <laughs> I literally else. asked that. I was like, so he gets like robot sperm? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know. He is synthetic. <laughs> he's a synthetic organism. Yeah. But but anyways, if you guys haven't watched WandaVision, you really should. The second episode was my favorite of the two. I think that it's about to hit the fan. So. Like, I really do. Like, I think that this show, it started off weird, but I think it's gonna go like bonkers crazy. Mm -hmm. Super comic sh It's gonna be f cool. I'm excited. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed the review on these guys right here, what I believe might be the most comfortable shoe of 2021. However, Nike has some really cool stuff coming as well from the running department, which I believe could possibly top this. Although Tai Chi is awesome. So maybe not. But let me know what you think about these down below in the comment section. Are you like my wife here who thinks that these are dated because they have a little bit of chrome? <laughs> or are you like me and you're just like, yeah, man, Spreewells and Chris Webber's All-Star Shoe. It's close enough to the 90s. I dig that. Yo. <laughs> for real though. But thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. And until next time, guys, have a good one.